but not one for attention but very 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 good chap yeah lovely lovely guy heart of gold boys let's move on to money and the rugby top 10 rich list which came out this week uh obviously it was a bit weird to not see you guys on there (laughs) mark that's not funny that's that i don't know why i just laughed it was just because you went guilty (laughs) okay no let's start that so hard no 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 we'll put that in that's okay it's fine (laughs) Perhaps okay, well, let's talk about your great mate, Finn Russell. He's the highest earner in the UK with a cheeky 850k a year. Uh, have you noticed any changes in his purchasing power lately? What do you mean in the UK? Like in terms of in the uh, UK, of, like in no, nations? He's not actually, he's not, he's, he's yeah, of, of the British players. No, he's oh, not. Right. Uh, yes. Yeah, sorry. He is. Sorry. He's in 1 million euros a year. But Max has got somebody who earns a bit more at his club. But let's talk about... Finn, uh, I um well, do you know what? It, I don't. He's not changed. He was always like that. He always was buying ridiculous clothes and like t-shirts for like four hundred pounds and a pair of like perfectly normal Birkenstocks, right? Nothing wrong with them. Go for them. But then he'd have to buy like Valentino Birkenstocks, and you're like, what's the point? What is the point in buying Valentino Birkenstocks compared to the normal ones? Because they got a bit uh, like some writing on it. It is mental, but. He has some funny old purchases. He's a very, do you know what? He's he's very generous though. That's his that's his biggest problem. On a night out when he gets excited, he is a very generous man. He'll be the one ordering the bottles of Dom Perignon and paying for them. Um, he did come and pick me up the other day in an Aston Martin wearing a, oh what is it? A Patek Philippe, and he's like, <laughs> right, Wills. I was like, mate, this is another level. <laughs> I was like looking at my house, all four kids like banging at the window. <laughs> rev it, rev it, rev it. Like the house looking like a building site. And he's pulling up an Aston Martin with, uh, yeah, with the old Protect Philippe on like, come on then, let's go. I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> Don't change. Don't change. Oh, wow. Good on yeah. for getting all the drinks in though. Yeah, to be fair to him, he is. He's very, he's very good at that. And he's, but he's always been like that. He's always been that sort of character. He loves it. Um, but that's the, I suppose that's the good thing about him is he. It's always been like sh- that, yeah. Yeah, he's always been like that, and he shares it about. He shares it about. He's a good man to be on a night out with, unless he orders all those bottles of Dom Perignon and then pisses off halfway through. Then you're stuck with a bill. But like, I've had that on a few nights out, not with him, but other players hammering the bill, thinking it's like free, and then everyone just disappears. Me and Dave Denton have been left in a in a club in Rome. <laughs> With a major bill, me and Dave Denton like being pulled Dent up by the bouncers. Yeah. Oh, mate. He's panicking. He's like, Wilson, I've not even brought my wallet. Oh, mate. <laughs> Who dropped you in it? Off. Who dropped you in it? I can't remember. Everyone, everyone. There was all of us there. The whole of the whole of the Scotland team were there pretty much. And this this bloke was acting as if we were getting free drinks. Like, more vodka, more vodka. I'm like, oh, this is brilliant. How good is this? And everyone pisses off and it's just me and Dents left on the dance floor with these God. bouncers like, right, right, come in with us. Like, what's going on here? No, you need to pay your bill. <laughs> what? Hold on a minute. <laughs> I've only had one drink. <laughs> so, yeah, he's a good boy, Finn. But hey, the real money's down south, isn't it? With you boys. Holy yeah, heck. Exactly, Pietau. Max. Your teammate, <laughs> Charles Piertau, is the best paid player in the world with a Bloody casual hell. one million pounds a year <laughs> is he a flashy guy or not at all not really like he keeps it under the radar he's got a lovely whip like a nice range rover sport but generally speaking he's quite like yeah he's, he's very very humble bloke like always has immaculate hair though like completely perfect clark kent vibes just like tom and clark kent just the whole shebang, but no, no, not at all showy offy. Like even with what he wears, generally speaking, nothing would make me think, "Oh my god, that man's the million dollar, the million pound rugby boy." No, not at all. You'd never know. You'd never know. You imagine, you imagine the house he can buy in Tonga, though. He'd oh, be sending I, that home. yeah, you'd uh, be sending that home. He's like, he's building his own villages. Yeah, for sure. Max, where do you where do you sit between the uh, the sort of Phil uh, <coughs> Russell cash? spend and the sort of low interest yield spends of Charles Beata. I'm sort of I'd say I'm an essentialist for the most part. Health is wealth. That's where most of my money would go into like weird biohackery. You know what I'm talking about? The weird stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise I'm not like I'm not I'm not that extravagant with my money. I just I keep it I keep it rustic. 
And you, Ryan, before the kids? No, nah, mate. I, I buy weird stuff. See, like if something's forty percent off, I'll, I'll take it. I'll have it. Like, like I bought a double decker bus a few months ago, and my missus was like, "You've bought what?" And I was like, "Double decker bus." And Elaborate. this bloke, <laughs> well, mate, well, basically, a bloke came to me and was like, "Listen, I got a bus for sale." I was like, "Oh yeah, I like the look of that double decker bus." <laughs> and then, uh, and then I like knocked him down on the price, and then he said, "No, no, I ain't doing it. Not for that much." And then about two weeks later, he came back. He obviously couldn't shift it. It's a fucking double-decker bus. So he was like, right, have it for what you said. And I was like, sweet. So then my missus was like, and where do you think you're going to park? I was like, on the drive, obviously. So she was like, that, that bus comes in the house. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Although I was over at the bus depot where it's parked last night, pick, sweeping up glass because some little fucker's gone and smashed the window on it. But yeah, I've got a double-decker bus. What are you going to do with it? Oh, mate. The ideas oh, are it? endless. The ideas are endless. <laughs> is this for your whiskey, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. No. Do you know no? what? It genuinely whiskey it flagship. Like, it was like, I just bought it just because I was like, I could see the potential in it. And there's loads of ideas. I've got so many ideas. Like people are like, well, camper van. What? I was like, exactly. Perfect. Camper van. Imagine that. Actually, camper van. Yeah. Turning up to a campsite in it. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> <laughs> On those country roads. Oh, yeah, right, kids, how you go? <laughs> so, yeah, got double decker bus. Like my house. I bought my house without telling my wife. That got me in a lot of trouble. Mate, what else have you bought like that? Anything else you can compare to the bus? You sound like you have some <laughs> mad ideas. Give me some more. Um, I bought, like, obviously, at the beginning of lockdown, I bought four chickens just randomly. I was like, one Sunday, I was like, come on, kids, oh, get in the car. And we, and we just went and bought four chickens. And again, I'm my so wife jealous. was like, why have you bought four chickens? Like, what's... And then, honestly, they wrecked the garden, like, destroyed Yeah, they butt. do, don't they? They yeah. smashed it up. Sink, Carl Sinclair got some chickens as well. <laughs> he was like, yeah. we have the finest hens. He wanted, like, 16 at the first. So I was like, how much room for 16 chickens? <laughs> oh, mate, I know. But that's the problem. I've just, I've just got a normal garden. So, yeah. like... And they just shit everywhere. Foxes <laughs> want to eat them. Yeah. Peck, they yeah. peck the lawn to pieces. They're absolute, oh. they're like, little dinosaurs. They're terrifying. Yeah, yeah, so sadly they've gone. Um, one of the academy players went back to Yorkshire and he took two of them with him. Two, two survived, two died. Um, so, <laughs> what? What? why did he take them? Uh, because my missus was like, You've got to get rid of the chickens. You got, you got so rid of the chickens. I had a punch bag after I finished the build, I had a punch bag, a fridge freezer, and two chickens. And this boy, Charlie Caps, was like, Well, so I'll have it. So he just came up the house in his rover loaded it up, one freezer, a punch bag and two chickens and off he went back to Yorkshire. <laughs> Man, that's what <laughs> Never saw him again. <laughs> How many eggs did you get out of the three chickens though? Was it hey, like I, one a day? I was getting I was getting not far off two a day for some reason. I reckon someone was putting them in there because they were like, no, you should only get one a day. But they were just firing them out. Firing them out. Unbelievable. Like, it, obviously there was a, a drought at the beginning because I bought them too young. Again, my wife was like, oh, well done. You bought chickens that don't lay eggs. Um, but you have to wait for them to get to a certain age and all this. And I trained them with golf balls. They were my pride and joy. <laughs> you they trained were... them with golf, with golf balls. balls. <laughs> <laughs> Genuine. You have to put, you have to, no, no. You have to put golf balls in there and then they think that they're eggs and they sit on them and then they lay eggs on top. Hey, Man, listen. Fascinating. Hey, oh. yeah. That is on, does, is, do you Fair think that's part of, your, part of your wife, Ryan, that, that does sort of think, What's he gonna bring home today? Like, I'm a little bit excited because I'm sure the kids think that the whole no. time. Like, double decker no. bus. No, she hates it. She absolutely hates it. She's like, please stop, please stop. But oh well, 